are you? Who are you talking to? Me or them? I'm talking to you and them. We are talking to you. Hey, we are Geek by Heart. I am Lady. He is Jay. I'm Jay, and today we. Uh, no, by the way, let let's just officially launch this. Welcome. This is Revaluate, where we take a look back at movies or TV shows that you know it's probably in the theaters, probably on our streaming services. Mm-hmm. But we, what we do is take a look back at them and give our official, you know, say, love, hate, whatever. Yeah. Do we value it? Do we hate it? Do we what? hate it? Whatever. And probably you know give you some advice and probably go watch it or just don't watch it. Don't watch it. You know that type of thing. Exactly. So yeah. So what we're gonna talk about first? Well, our first one is. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. I Boba we, Fett. I know we don't have a lot of time, but let's talk about it. Boba Fett. First, uh. I, I, you know what? Mm. Oh, there's just so much. I don't even know where to oh begin. I mean, right now we're at episode six. Listen, there are some great parts about it. Mm. Unfortunately, some of the great parts doesn't even have nothing to do with Boba Fett. But listen, dog. Like, that, that, that makes that, no sense to me. The entire show is just definitely not about Boba Fett. It's, it's not, and especially about the present tense of Boba Fett. Oh, my God. Like, what? how do you have most of your show, either in the past tense or for the last two um, episodes, because we're now at episode six. Yeah, we're in episode so, six. episode five was all about Mando, mm. no Boba. Okay, one minute with Finnick Chan, and then episode six, he might have had five minutes, Man, it's, maybe. It's, it's just confusing. It's like the story is just like all over the place. You know, you just can't, you just can't not settle. And basically, what I was looking for for Boba Fett is mm-hmm. for them to give a perspective for us to like the character, but there is nothing to like. Yo, what I, I mean, it's just boring. Yes, and what I wanted from Boba Fett was. I think it was episode four when he ran down the biker gang. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, is yeah. what I wanted. I yeah, wanted more hardcore, of the, Thank you. I wanted more Boba of Fett. the hardcore Boba Fett. And all you... See, first of all, I, mm, mm. how do you let the man, no, not man, Wookiee go that tried to kill you and then employ him? How? How? There's too, there's too much bullshit um, during this movie. It's... Well, TV show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just trash all over. And I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. But the best part about trash. the the best part about it again is not about Boba. Like mm. I enjoyed the Mando episode. Yeah, it, I enjoyed like, that. I enjoyed like, getting some of the backstory about what else is going on and about his sect of Mandalorian lore. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed seeing Grogu. Mm-hmm. I love Cad Bane. I literally squealed like a child when you see seeing Cad. Cad Bane. But you know, it, the, the, the thing about it is that you know, it's like everything within the if, within the entire series that we see so far. Mm-hmm. It's just it's it, it's like it's discombobulated. At first, yes. it's like they showed him, you know, getting out of the monster, and then him being raised by the sand people, mm-hmm. and then afterwards, you know, he probably. Uh, Graduated from their class and oh, go stupid. to somewhere else. I mean, but, he graduated and, and then because that's they got it. killed. And then that's it. it it's exactly. like everything just went downhill after that. It's not about the fact that it went downhill. It's the fact that it's just so discombobulated. Mm. You're going from past to present. And there are other places that, I mean, other shows that have done that and done it well. That I understand. But I thought what you were going to say is that after they basically dropped the same people thought process, oh, now we're to the present mm. like there was no in between with that there was no in between with no that in between you know and yeah. that's what really was drawing for me i personally think that they should have gone old school boba before exactly that's before what I episode with. six i agree you know what i mean I so the fact that they pulled boba out from episode six and then did this show i get it but I just think it's it's not done well. No, it's, it's, it's not it's, it's done, not done no. well. He doesn't live up to to to, to both, his his hype. Absolutely, you know, it absolutely. just didn't live up to it. If you are a Star Wars fan, there's no way in hell you can skip I it. Say skip it. If you're a casual fan, you don't need. You it. probably might. Yeah, they probably might like certain parts, like Mando. Um, Mando was in it, mm-hmm. and um, of I'm, course, Luke was in it as well. I am. With, listen, I am with, excited with, um, to see. Grogu. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm always, uh, I'm I am excited kidding. to see the live action of the Pikes. I will say that. Mm-hmm. I am totally effing so to see Cad Bane. Mm-hmm. But here's the other thing that I really don't like about Star Wars. They keep leaning on the past. Yeah. I loved the Mandalorian because the Mandalorian was fresh, fresh. and new. Yep. And it was about things at the very least that was not in the main storyline. New, new everything. Now it's like, okay, now you're leaning on Rebels. Now you're leaning on Clone Wars. You're leaning on things that have already been established and even fleshed out in some of the cartoons. So mm. like, yeah, there's, there's a lot to like in a sense if you are a Star Wars fan, but there's so much more to be frustrated about. Yeah, I mean, as I say, for me, it, it it's getting boring, but it seems like it's going to be a little bit, it's going to pick up a little bit. Um, I think the, the next one's the last one. I yeah, think. yeah, I think that's. I think there's a last uh, yeah. one episode left, but whatever. It's it to it, me uh, the entire mm. series is series is boring. Um, just the fact that Mando came up, it kind of bring a little bit life, but still, the entire f- idea of the series pushes you away from the character, which is that's a fact. Boba Fett that's himself. A fact. So uh, that's a fact. To me, I, it's it's a it's a hit for me. You know, uh, it's I, the best I, I yeah, I, I didn't respect it I, again. I, I, as a Star Wars fan, I'm a Star Wars fan since I was a kid. Mm. I, I have to watch it, but mm. I don't have to like it. Okay, well, fine. Oh, yes, okay, yes, okay, yeah, okay, I like it. Yeah. Okay, this is good. Okay, this is good. Let's go. This is good. This has everything that is different from a superhero movie but is like still a superhero movie mm-hmm. but it is kind of corny mm-hmm. and but it still has that idea of it, of it being comical and at the same time adult theme so mm-hmm. I, I definitely 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 love peacemaker so far um it's it's the the, the series is catching up mm-hmm. and you know there's a lot of 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 hardcore blood action in it you know what I mean? Head being splattered and everything. So it's going down that direction. I, I like it. I like it so far. I definitely agree with you on that. Um, I honestly was not a fan of the character, number one. Mm-hmm. Number two, I was not a fan of the idea of spinning off that character into a series, especially the way that he died in Suicide Spot. So like, it was like, why? Mm. Or supposedly died. Obviously didn't, mm. right? So it was like, why? But they made up for it. Mm, well, they, they 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 made up for it. It's it's kind of interesting, and I personally do love a good alien invasion story. Yeah. And once again, it just shows that at WB, they know what to do, or at least with DC, with DC properties, yep. they know what to do with a TV show. Mm-hmm. For the most part, we're not gonna talk about the later issues of Flash and. Arrow. No, please don't talk We're not going to talk about that. No, Let's rewind no, and think about Happy Place. No. But, you, like, in all honesty, fans know for their TV shows, for their TV movies, mm-hmm. or whatever, DC know what to do. Yeah, DC know And shit. again, you see what happened. And it, obviously, it, it's helped very much by James Gunn, mm-hmm. who is like a mastermind of doing the ensemble piece. Yo, this you know, And James like, Gunn I think he wrote over. the first three and i think he directed the first three yeah, too yeah, yeah, so yeah, he yeah. made sure that his vision and his blueprint James was, was in seat in this all over it from once you see the first episode mm-hmm. of peacemaker you see james gunn in it from yeah start to finish yeah the the the, the comic the comic the comic the, the comedic, comedic stuff <laughs> the comedic stuff comedic. that that's in it as well as the action and the um the blood gore and everything. Mm. Everything has James Gunn in it. They're going to have another series of another character from the Suicide Squad. Vigilante? I'm not sure. They, they didn't um, disclose it yet, but... Vigilante? That's what I, 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 I was almost going to say that Vigilante was able to come to the cookout after that prison. But then mm. after the, the Orient with Asian girls, I was like, hmm. Yeah, yeah. But he kicked ass in that prison. I will give yeah, him that. Definitely. And he made some statements. I was definitely, like, oh. Definitely, definitely. Um, you know, and it's 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 it has a lot of potential. I mm-hmm. can tell you that much. Um, John Cena, he he is building a reputation um, as an that, actor. That, yeah, as, as, an, as actor. an actor. Yeah, and he is doing it um, away from the Rock because the Rock the Rock already have a household name in it, and 
John Cena is coming in it with, you know, full guns drawn and everything. I'm, and he's doing a pretty good job with it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, you know, I think he's made, he's having fun with it and everything. And it, it, yeah, he's. I mean, he's give him it. a couple of years, he's going to be yeah, a household be, actor's yeah, exactly. name as The Rock as mm, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, listen, being in a DC property is not going to hurt his chances exactly. at all. Exactly. You know, so if like he keeps on doing things that are in his niche, when John Cena was first coming onto the scene, I was like, as an actor, really? Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. But I started to, and again, I was. As a character, as an actor, he's fine actually. Yeah. As the character, I wasn't that crazy about Peacemaker. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So in the movie, I was just like, eh, whatever. And I'm yeah. like, oh, they're gonna do a spinoff of him? How is this going to work? But it works. It works. No, it works. Seriously. I think works. the only it thing works. that I wasn't like crazy about is the fact that like, if you would have had another scene in the Suicide Squad movie. It would have been just, it would have been an invasion scene. It mm -hmm. would have been definitely about an invasion. Mm -hmm. And therefore, for them to do that in a series right mm -hmm. after the movie, yeah. I would have done something else. Okay. Well, but I, I do, like I said, I do appreciate an invasion story. So, yeah, I, I mean, I like it. I like it. I, I really did like, I really do like The Peacemaker. And I think there's a, a couple more um, episodes to be done, I guess. I believe there's two. I believe that's true. I'm not sure how much, but yeah, whatever. We're probably going to talk about it again mm -hmm. as it wraps. We're also yep. probably going to talk about both that as yep. it wraps as, as it well wraps. too. Exactly. So we'll probably do that for another reevaluate. Okay. All right. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's it. Um, we covered two things this uh, for the past week. Right. Uh, we covered um, Bugga Peacemaker Bugga. and Baba Baba. Bubba Bubba. Bubba Bubba. Bubba Bubba. <laughs> and Peacemaker. Uh, yeah, the, uh, Boba Fett and Peacemaker. Mm -hmm. So next week we're gonna we're gonna be covering um, Raised by Jack Wolves. Reef, Jack Reacher. And Raised by Wolves. And Raised by Wolves. Season one though. Season one. Okay, because we know that season Definitely. two just came out. Yep. But we do have to go backwards. So yeah, we're to gonna go be forwards. going yeah, exactly. And we're gonna be recapping uh all of this on, on season one mm -hmm. and then we're gonna reach jack reach you on um prime video all right of course thank you guys for joining us mm -hmm. on this new 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 thing that we have going evaluate evaluate all right so i'm jay i'm laney and uh of course join us on instagram twitter and do you even know where we're at what is our name on instagram and twitter I know it's skate by heart. Okay, I yeah. thought you did. Definitely. All right, and if you like what you hear and see, like, share, subscribe, or leave a comment below. Tell us what you think about what we talked about. Tell us what you think about what we're going to talk about. And we'll see you. And we'll see you. And we'll see you.